Welcome to Boys in Blue News, where we bring you the latest updates and insights on the Toronto Maple Leafs. Today, we have a major move that's stirring up intense discussions among fans. The Maple Leafs have just traded defenseman Timothy Liljegren to the San Jose Sharks, and fan reactions reflect the emotions of the community. How will this trade impact the future of the team? Let's dive into all the details and what it means for the Leafs defensive line. Before we get into the analysis, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support is essential to strengthen our Leafs fan community and ensure you never miss any team updates. The Toronto Maple Leafs made a significant move by announcing the trade of defenseman Timothy Liljegren to the San Jose Sharks. This decision marks a new chapter for both Liljegren and the team, raising several questions about the future of both. In exchange, the Maple Leafs received a 2025 third-round pick, a 2026 sixth-round pick, and defenseman Matt Benning, who could add value to the Canadian team. Liljegren, selected 17th overall in the 2017 NHL Draft, has had a journey filled with ups and downs in Toronto. He accumulated 65 points over his six NHL seasons, showing flashes of talent as a defenseman capable in both offense and defense. However, in recent seasons, his role on the team became uncertain, especially under new head coach Craig Berube. With only one game played this season, it was clear that confidence in Liljegren had waned, raising questions about his future on the team. With this trade, the Toronto Maple Leafs not only clear over $1.5 million in cap space, but also make a strategic move by bringing in Matt Benning, known for his physical presence and experience. At 30 years old, Benning has played a total of 464 NHL games, with stints on teams like the Edmonton Oilers, Nashville Predators, and Sharks. He brings a style that could help solidify the Maple Leafs' defense, as they seek to bounce back after a frustrating first-round playoff exit last year. How do you think Benning's experience might impact the team? Benning's addition is a critical part of the Maple Leafs' effort to strengthen their defense. Alongside him, the team had already signed Yanni Hockenpa and Chris Tanev, indicating a clear intent to reinforce the blue line after recent struggles. Many fans are wondering, Will these changes be enough for the Maple Leafs to finally advance further in the playoffs? Meanwhile, the trade gives Liljegren a new chance to reinvent himself and find his stride with a new team. High expectations await him in San Jose, where he's expected to get the ice time needed to show his full potential. With reduced pressure, will Liljegren finally find his place in the NHL? This move raises interesting questions about what's next for both teams. What do you think? Was this a good move for the Maple Leafs? And for San Jose, could Liljegren become a valuable asset? In my view, the trade of Timothy Liljegren to the San Jose Sharks is a clear sign that hockey is constantly evolving. The NHL isn't just about individual talent, but also about finding the right place for players to shine. Liljegren, with his skills and potential, struggled to solidify his role in Toronto, and this change might be exactly what he needs for a fresh start. The pressure in a city like Toronto can be immense, and I'm curious to see how he will adapt and develop in a new environment. Furthermore, the Maple Leafs' move to pursue stronger defensive support shows a smart strategy. It's evident that the team is learning from past experiences and gearing up for a more resilient future. Benning, with his experience and physical style, can bring a new dynamic that the team needs, especially after previous playoff eliminations. In conclusion, it's always exciting to see these transactions and the impact they can have on players' careers and teams' performance. I'm eager to follow the unfolding of this story and would love to hear what you think about this trade. Do you believe Liljegren will make a difference with the Sharks or are the Maple Leafs on a good path? Leave your comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything happening in the hockey world. Your participation means a lot to us, and we're here to bring you more discussions like this.